So, it's been a while since you've heard from me. A quickie update on projects I'm working on with the people that I know. We'll call them friends for now. Uh, lately, they've been pissing me off. But, it's, it's just, it's a thing you have to deal with when you're dealing with people. You know, sometimes you're going to disagree on things. And you have little arguments about how something should be handled. Even though you're pretty sure you agreed we would do this this way from the beginning. And then you just decide to change your mind at the last second. But, whatever. <sighs> and, anyways... As you get older, it usually gets easier to compromise, usually. I'm not guaranteeing that it will. It's just that for most normal human beings, compromise becomes easier as you get older and you realize it's not the end of the world if you don't get everything exactly how you want it. And it's late at night. I just got home. Work sucks. And nobody left me any roses. And if you get that reference... Thank you. Carly, if you're watching this, I'm 100% sure you're not even going to understand that. <coughs> Anyways. Late night, come home, work sucks. I know, she left me roses by the stairs. Surprises let me know she cares. So yeah, at work. Things have been relatively easy. Like, this has been a slow week for us. Like, we're in our slow period. I think for most of the restaurants that I've been at before, and this one seems to be the same, like, the holiday period, like, everything from, like, uh, Halloween to Valentine's Day, like, those are the, bu that's the busiest time of the year, and the rest of it is just survival mode. Like, trying not to waste as much money and just hope that enough customers come in to pay off all the labor that you've got. And if not, we're sending people home. But, yeah. They, we fired a couple of people. Like, there was one guy who was there literally one day. Because one of the things we do at our restaurant is that, like, we'll give them a tryout. We'll let them walk for one day, see if they fit. And then if that's good, then we hire them. We have them fill out paperwork, put them in the system and stuff. So many people don't make it past their first day. This guy spilled a container full of milk down the stairs. Huh. And there's another guy who, you might have heard me talk about him in a previous vlog, about how he wouldn't shut the fuck up. Well, he ain't talking no more now. We fired him. Uh, he was there two weeks. He only walked four days, and he just he just couldn't keep up. Like, we walk, and let, like a day like this, where it's basically dead most of the night, he probably could have handled it, but... You know, when we get really, when we need him the most is when we get really busy on those nights where we've got a packed house, when we got reservations from open to close. And on those nights, you know, he's barely helping at all. Like, he can't keep up. And, you know, and I fall behind because I have to wait for him to do his job before I can do my job because he's supposed to be helping me, but it's actually slowing me down. But, and, <clears throat> long story short, he didn't work out. And I liked the idea, because I still, I could still definitely use the help, especially on those really busy days. It's just, wrong guy. You know, after, he's just, you know, he's just not suited to work in that environment. Because, like, everything we do is on a time punch. Because like, we, we've got, you know, it's just, yeah, anyways. <clears throat> so, yeah, a lot of people come in and out of there pretty quickly. And what else was I going to say? Like, oh, yeah, uh, we pulled a prank, which was completely my idea. I'm not really much of a prankster. Like, honestly, if it wasn't for, like, work or school and all that other stuff, I would never even leave my house on April 1st. But here, today, April 8th, I... <coughs> Sorry, my throat's a little dry. Uh, we were at work, and there's this guy who's relatively new, and he, well, we have a cage storage area, which has a padlock on it, 
and he had left the lock open and he had left the key to it inside so i went inside i got the key put it in my pocket locked the door and then i told the guy i gave the key back to its owner and told him let's all pretend that we don't know where it is and it took a while because it wasn't until like the end of the night that he had to go back in there again to grab something else and then and even then it was like us being like oh yeah that's in the cage even though it actually wasn't in there <laughs> just because we were we were tired of waiting we'd been holding on to this for so long we were just all night planning different ways to like uh, drag this out different things to say to make him feel bad and so you know finally end of the night as we're getting ready to start going he starts freaking out like shit where did i put the key you know he's patting himself down he's looking everywhere he's asking everybody there if they've seen it and we're all trying our best just to not laugh because it's just hilarious and just, it's, yeah, he spent about two hours, like, he was really starting to freak out, and he was cussing himself out, like, fuck, man, I can't, I can't figure out where I put it. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, so eventually we decided, we didn't even tell him that we did it, we just, you know, we waited till he was out of the room, and we put it somewhere obvious, but slightly hidden, and then he came by, and he's like, oh, here it is, God, I swear I looked here already, here's your key, man. <laughs> <laughs> just so yeah that's our little private little joke that we played on him <laughs> so funny so yeah he spent two hours looking for a key that he thought he lost which it was in other in the other guy's pocket the whole time <laughs> and he and he's the only one who didn't know and he just kept running around looking for it it was just it was fun and i felt so proud of myself because i was the one who came up with the idea <laughs> and got everyone else involved uh, <laughs> so yeah, tonight was fun. There was something else that I was going to talk about, but yeah, uh, whatever. I'm just gonna eat. I'm eating some rice right now with some some weird sauce. I I can't explain it. I I got it from Walkie's leftovers. Anyways, I'm gonna eat, watch some YouTube videos, and. Uh, Go to sleep, then wake up, watch some anime, and go to work, and then two days off. Oh, that's right. Got in touch with an old friend. Honestly, not even a friend. She She's more like a mom to me. Like I've known her for, I believe we met in 2010, maybe 2009. I think it was uh, like early 2010. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, no, no, it was, two, it was, it was 2009. Oh no, no, it was early 2010 because I, w I was I was confused because I was still 19 when I met her. And she basically adopted me into her family. She's got, you know, she's got a daughter my age who's like married with a kid living in a different city. And then she's also got three other kids, actually now a fourth because a couple years ago she married, she remarried again and they had a baby. So he's like two now. So anyways, yeah, like. I'm, I was pretty close with the whole family, but then like, you know, I, we, you know, time passed, people started drifting. We, we've talked less and less, still get like, e still email each other from time to time. You know, we spent about an hour just texting each other, catching up. It was fun. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's my, that's my day. How are you doing? Did you notice the camera was tilted? Did it bother you? Leave a comment down below.